It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Charles Kuralt. Dancing with a dream. That is what ballet dancers do. The dream is perfection, nearly impossible to achieve. But some few perfectionists are driven to dance. Thank heaven. They start young, as you will see in Eugenio Zuckerman's story, and they work hard. This is the way dancers all over the world begin their day. I never wanted to be a ballet dancer. I wanted to be a tap dancer when I was little. But um, once I started ballet, I really liked it. So that's what I ended up doing. I didn't have anything to do after school. And my friend was going to ballet class, and she, you know, she asked me if I wanted to come one day, and so I did. And that's how I started. <laughs> Stephanie Murish, 20, and Jonathan Bauer, 22, are from the United States. But in this class in New York City, there are dancers from all over the world. They are all competing in the New York International Ballet Competition. Before arriving in New York, Stephanie and Jonathan began their partnership in Watertown, Connecticut, under the watchful eye of Stephanie's teacher, Donna Bonacera. Stephanie was 15 when she started dancing, an age many say is too old to begin a ballet career. I think if you have the determination and you, th you think you're capable of doing it, why not go for it? <laughs> Stephanie and Jonathan were preparing the Swan Lake Pas de Deux, as were 22 other couples around the world. All of the couples brought that dance, their hopes, and their dreams to New York. Then turn back in the same direction. If you go around... Oh. Igor Yuskevich, a former dancer, is the artistic director of the competition. You know, actually the goal of the competition is to uh, provide dancers with a learning process that will give them um, dance experience which contributes eventually to their growth as dancers. Ilona Kopin founded the competition several years ago. It takes place every three years. Much. Um, New York didn't have an international ballet competition. Um, everyone says New York is the dance capital of the world, which I think it is. And there was a void to be filled. And I felt there was a need, and I thought it would be a very exciting thing to do. Once the dancers arrived in New York, they began the difficult process of learning three new works in two weeks. I wanted to come and take classes and work with the coaches and see how much I could learn, because that'll always help me with whatever else I, I need to do. You know, and it's, it's fun to come. It's a challenge to learn things in this amount of time. Yeah. Lengthen, 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 and then take a forward, 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 and better. And that's it. Okay, good. Be careful that the, pos the position is not this. I'm just amazed that we're, that we're able to take class with these people. You know, they have so much knowledge, and it's just incredible that we're, you know, they're teaching us. It's, I really like it. <laughs> Violet Verdi was a principal dancer with the New York City Ballet. What does she expect these young dancers to learn? 
be fast, be accurate, be concentrated, be exact, and also be immersed in what you do so that on stage you have an intensity that will interest the public and the jury. That intensity is what makes the difference with the, with the important dancers. And while the dancers were taking class and rehearsing and touring New York, a group of very prominent people in the dance world, the jury, was holding its meeting. Included were Alicia Alonso, general director of the National Ballet of Cuba, and Arthur Mitchell, founder of the Dance Theater of Harlem. The thing is, is that, you know, when you're in your own country, your own city, your own studio with your own teacher, the whole world evolves around you. Then all of a sudden you go out and you may be a big fish in a small pond and all of a sudden you're a small fish in a large pond. And it gives you again the wherewithal to become aware of others see what's happening technically around the world, artistically. And I take for granted that by the time they come to the competition, they have the technical base. So consequently, I'm looking for the artistry that goes with it. It takes years of study, sweat, and discipline before dancers are ready for an international competition. Yet the few moments they will spend here on stage at City Center may determine their entire futures. prepare for so long but the moment is when you're on stage and that's when it should come together I mean it should be there After the first of four rounds of the competition, the dancers gathered to see who would advance to round two. But the judges didn't decide until 1.30 in the morning. Just in case. We'll bring her here. Whether she wants to come here or not. It's her. Should I just post them on here? A few of them? Yeah. Don't take throw one up. Upstairs. It's not worth throwing up about. Aren't there any thumbtacks? Only those. Here, take these. <laughs> 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 we have to have humor about okay. this, guys. I have to stand in front of all of you guys. Wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't, don't do this. We did it. We did it. festival was the next test for Stephanie and Jonathan and they passed that and then it was round three competitions are strange in the sense that you know if anything goes wrong you could slip or or, or trip or some, you know, if anything goes wrong, that's the one chance that you have to show it, and that's what you're judged on. At the end of round three, Jonathan Bauer was eliminated from the competition. Stephanie Murish went on to the fourth and final round, but then she too was eliminated. Performing is the important part, learning and performing. That's what you want to do with the rest of your life. Anytime you can get on stage is great. You know, at that point, it doesn't matter whether you're competing or not. Gold medal, Jose Manuel Torres Carreño, Cuba. The winners were from Cuba, Argentina, and China. But at the gala, no one was competing. All of the dancers who had brought their dreams to New York showed their artistry. 